Hello my wonderful people, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So, there's a few things I I have to like announce. Uh, first of all, I have to delay the second video I have to put out for y'all because um, bad video I was supposed to edit today, however I couldn't do it because my sister dog died. We had him since 2008. It was a very, very sad day. Let's just put it that way. So I didn't get to finish that. I was supposed to finish editing and posting it today. But, you know, I'm going to post this one first because it's much more cheery instead of, like, dark and whatever. So, um, so th today's video is going to be something I, I like to talk about, okay? It's going to be about language. And the language I'm going to teach y'all is... Um, French, parce que je parle français, and I, I want to reiterate some things about language that you should know and how to get better at language if you're gonna start or re-continue language learning. So, let's get into this video. So, this video, basically, the, one of the first and foremost rules of learning and maintaining a language is the continuation of practicing it. If you don't practice a language, um, it will literally fade away, but it will not, it will not go, it's not gonna delete from your mind, but it will be there, just, it's locked away in your brain somewhere. See what I did there? I kind of rhymed. Uh, <laughs> but, that's that, and then, um, another thing is to, uh, like, hear the language. If you're always around it, that's a good thing. If you don't, well, try to listen to some music, some, um, some music of that language, uh, that you're trying to learn, um, movies, um, and stuff like that. Also, um, what else, what else to do, do? Uh, I'm gonna say keep a schedule of when you're gonna, um, practice the language because if you do not set a schedule for yourself, it's just, it's not gonna work. Like, learning a language is not gonna work. Okay, so, um, French. French is a nasal language, so most people get this so wrong and I want to kind of correct it because... Um, you know the French phrase bonjour. So a lot of see a lot of people pronounce it bonjour or they pu they put a lot of emphasis on the on the letter word on the letter word on the letter N. So instead of bonjour, like you kind of pronounce it with the note. So it's bon like like, almost if you're saying the word bow, but you add the little N with your nose. So it's bon, ju. And then, and then you continue it with the ju. But you don't really pronounce the entire um, phrase. So it's bonjour. So you don't go bonjour. Because that's like your er, you're mad. So it's bonjour. Not sure. <laughs> Bonjour. So, what I'm trying to say is, uh, French. In French, most of the letters don't really, uh, not all of them are pronounced. So, just keep that in mind. So, most of the endings are silent, uh, like the T's. Um, like salut. Salut has a T, so it's S-A-L-U-T. But you do not pronounce the T like salute, okay? Um, so bonjour has two meanings. Uh, bonjour is, um, is a formal hello and it's also good morning. Also translated into good day. Um, salute is an informal way of saying hi. And, um, yeah, you use it with friends and people you meet and whatever. You could say allo, but allo is more like for the, for the phone, okay? Um, another, merci. So merci is, um, is thanks or thank you. Um, and merci, like, uh, I don't have a 
fully developed accent for friendship but um let's see you kind of have to how can i pick this up let's see so you kind of have a little tongue roll in the middle but not really so you would say merci um and that and then merci beaucoup is thank you uh, um thank like thank you very much uh because beaucoup is like a lot or plenty or you know um and then a few ways to say like you're welcome is niopariqua which is it is nothing um so il Nia Patiqua. So Inya is there is and then nothing is Patiqua. Like it's nothing. Um and then it's Patiqua like nothing that's more like I'll say it's more formal because yeah and then the formalist way the formalist way the more formal way that you're gonna say um you're welcome is um Darien Hold on. Darien. Okay, there we go. Darien. Sometimes you have to roll your tongue before you... Well, I have to do that before I speak certain languages because, you know, certain languages require, like, a lot of tongue action and then the others are, like, they're more linear. So, it's Darien. So, Darien is, like, it's nothing but translated... Uh, that it's nothing but they use it as your walk. So uh, another phrase would be bon oui. Uh, so the the kind of way I could explain bon oui is um you you kind of say it as one word in a sense. So bon uh, like the like how I said bonjour. You kind of you you have to say it that way. Bon the oui. So you're not, so how it's spelled is B-O-N-N-E, and then that's good, and then night, nui, and U-I-T. So, you kind of want to continue it, like it's, it's like a slide. So, bon we so bon we if that makes sense. So, you pronounce the end at the end of bon, but nui, you pronounce the last um, letter if you want to, but most of the time it's just bon oui. So you, you kind of sound like oui. <laughs> bon oui. Um, and then also, uh, a few more phrases. Uh, so one, so there's two ways, uh, well actually three ways of saying like, okay. Uh, one of them is oui. So like, like, O U I that's we oui, but pronounced like W E okay and then that's we oui, like yes and then the core which is okay like I'm upgrading with you I don't know why they don't have her say so I got sidetracked it and got on a different th uh, thought process but um what else uh we oui, the core uh, oh, and then way. So, way is, um, O-U-A-I-S. So that's, like, yeah. So, way. So, you can, it's kind of like the, uh, how you spell, um, W-A-Y, way. Because the S, um, the S in ways is, O U A I S. That's right. I'm sorry. I totally fucked that up for you. But yeah, it's W. What the fuck? O U A I S. So you do not pronounce the S, but you pronounce it way. So yeah. So that's how you say yeah. Um, and then uh, no. It's it's the same thing. No is. You kind of want to use your nose for this, so no. Like if you're, um, mm, like if you're kind of, mm, you feel it. Like if you do that little nose sound, like mm, you feel it. So no, you have to feel it because 
normally when you say no it's like it just comes from the from the from your voice from here but when you say no you have to fill it right here in your nose so that's why I'm saying French is a nasal language you most of the sounds come from your nose uh, that's why you always hear the French guys in in like any cartoon you have watched like ha 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 because they're kind of trying to hint at you that they use a lot of their nose um what else uh no um let's see and then sorry okay so the the last phrase I'm gonna teach you is um sorry so it's desole so d e s o l e so des de sole so this one has an accent oh, sorry i wanted to kind of speak in french but the thing, at the same time i wanted to speak english anyway desole has an accent so you have to pr pr if a word in French ends with an accent, like an accent, um, then you have to pronounce that um, word. So, désolé. So, D-E-S-O-L-E, -E, and then the E at the end has the accent. So, every accent has their own sounds, but for now, I'm gonna tell you how it works. So, dé zo le So, dé uh, like, like if you're gonna say the word dead, but without the A, D, and then Dezo, like, um, I guess like a Z, O, Dezo, like Le, and then like Le, but without the extra, like, Le, it's not that high, it's Dezo Le, um, so yeah, I think that's that's it for now. I'll teach you more later because I felt like this needs to be addressed. And um, another fun fact is that when people um, learn a language, a second language or third, depending, most of, most of the time it's third, um, they learn in high school. And you know, after high school, they're, they're probably not gonna use it again and da da da. But they wanted to take the language because they didn't want to take Spanish or what's, whatsoever. Like, I was a rebel. Like, people told me I had to learn Spanish. I never did until after high school. Whatever. That's me. Not talk about me. Talk about everyone else. So, um, so yeah. And some people even take it in, in university level and they don't practice it so they lose that that we the knowledge of the language because they don't practice it um after they take that course because you know some some universities actually make you uh, it's mandatory to learn a second language. Um for me it took four years. Um but yeah, so if you if you take in if you take in uh, high school and you retake it in in um, university, make sure you practice your your pronunciations because I I kind of been slacking it you know, um, but you know the more I practice the more I learn the more I kind of um, connected to everything it just makes it um um makes a difference. It's, it makes a difference. Like believe me you it really does make a difference. So hope you like this little intro to um to French. Oh French one on one uh with Jimbo. <laughs> That's probably gonna be my title, I don't know but I hope you guys have a wonderful night, morning, afternoon, whichever it is for you. Make sure to follow me on um on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook uh, I am now streaming on Twitch every other day, so I'm gonna try every other day. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and, um, uh, take care. Ciao. Ciao, sorry.